Hi there, I'm Kijan Haynes, and this is the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report for Friday, March 26, 2021. The MPE Caribbean Report provides updates from around the region. Barbados and the region have lost a giant. Sir Courtney Blackman was an economist, an international business consultant, and a diplomat with expertise in central banking. He served as the first governor of the Central Bank of Barbados from 1972 to 1987. At the time of his appointment, he was the youngest central bank governor in the world and went on to serve three consecutive terms. Over the course of his career, he served as ambassador to the United States and the OAS. Sir Courtney is remembered but across the globe for his easy conversations, his recounting of Barbados's connection to the Carolinas, and for his love of history. Dr. Basil Springer, a close friend of Sir Courtney, shared his personal reflections. My association with Sir Courtney Blackman began when I returned to Barbados in 1974. By that time, he was firmly entrenched as the first governor of the Central Bank of Barbados. I was extremely honored when he agreed to give the feature address at the opening of my company, The Systems Group, in 1977, which signaled the start of a long-lasting friendship between our families and as a mentor to me. In 1982, he presented me with a book called The Systems Approach by C. West Churchman. He drilled into me a quote from that book, namely, there may be economies of scale of production but no economies of scale of management. This has served me well in my management consulting practice for nearly 40 years since then. May I extend sympathy on his passing to his widow Gloria, Lady Blackman, and the rest of the Blackman family. Trevor Musgrove, newly installed president of the Turks and Caicos Hotel and Tourism Association, is confident about the future of post-COVID tourism in Turks and Caicos and across the Caribbean. Musgrove is upbeat about the availability of the vaccines, leading to an uptick in travel, and is keen on deepening P3 partnerships. We have maintained a thriving real estate market throughout the pandemic, with a significant increase in second home buying. Investment interest remains steady, as these sectors continue to thrive, we expect that our tourism sector will keep its pace as our primary growth sector. As president of the Turks and Caicos Hotel and Tourism Association, I envision building stronger partnerships between government and the association and local supporting businesses in the industry. Stronger partnerships that will propel even stronger growth in our tourism sector. The Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association's Caribbean Travel Marketplace 39, the region's leading tourism marketing event, will be held from May 11th to 14th. Marketplace Chairperson Karen Witt and CHGA's Acting CEO and Director General Vanessa Ledesma presented a webinar last week to drive interest and understanding of the first virtual incarnation of the event. Going virtual gives us a lot more flexibility in terms of our outreach. We will actually be broadcasting to the world. And we also have an opportunity to bring the world together in the Caribbean virtually this year um, because of this online platform. So we're super excited about that. It opens up new doors and possibilities for buyers in regions that we've not traditionally been able to attract because of distance and geography. Communication students at the University of the Virgin Islands won top awards at the 70th Annual Southern Regional Press Institute Virtual Conference last month. Jada Roberts, George Francis, and Kalena Nielsen earned third place for Best Public Service Announcement for their video presentation of the Jerusalem Dance Challenge. The team competed against top-tier students at Savannah State University, Bethune-Cookman University, Georgia Highlands College, Augusta University, and North Carolina Central University. On the behalf of my team, I believe winning third place for Best PSA at the 70th Annual Southern Regional Press Institute was an amazing opportunity to be recognized, especially since we were the only school representing the Caribbean at the conference. Unlike schools with the latest equipment, we simply use applications such as Zoom and Video Editor to make our final touches. So we feel honored that our PSA displayed our hard work and dedication amongst our competitors. So let's get going. This is a dance challenge from the Department of Communication at UVI, from us to you. Let's dance. 
As Women's History Month concludes, we are reminded that women have an essential role to play in propelling the Caribbean forward. Nalini Galbrancing, Executive Director of Grafton Beach Resorts Limited in Tobago, recognizes that even though the region has made substantial progress towards gender equality and parity, there is much more to accomplish. I'm fortunate enough to lead an ever-evolving team, which includes many talented women. The last 12 months have devastated the hospitality sector globally. And as, repro as recovery progresses, women are not only holding leading positions in ownership, management and development, but pushing the needle and encouraging entrepreneurship while tackling issues and satisfying the ever-changing palette and expectations of travelers and visitors. At an international level, these shifts in the global market where competition is fierce, force us to pivot on a daily basis and pivot we will. At all socioeconomic levels, women will continue to make impactive strides and therefore I am excited and proud to lead. And that's our update for the week. Remember things change in the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association has a comprehensive list of Caribbean countries and territories that are opening their borders, planning to do so soon, or are changing their COVID-19 travel protocols. So if you're planning a trip, visit CaribbeanHotelAndTourism.com slash COVID-19 for more details. We wish you an enjoyable weekend and please wash your hands, maintain physical distancing, wear a mask and stay well. I'm Kijan Haynes and this has been the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report.